Good evening, I'm Dave Karger. We are counting down the days to Christmas, and here on TCM that means a week-long marathon of holiday-themed movies. Tonight we're also celebrating the recent release of the new and expanded edition of Christmas in the Movies, an essential guide to the holiday classics written by our good friend, film historian Jeremy Arnold. Over the next few hours, we'll be spotlighting some of the lesser-known films that Jeremy has included in this new edition. And up first is a low-budget melodrama about the magic of the Christmas season. From 1939, it's Miracle on Main Street. The story begins on Christmas Eve in the old Spanish quarter of L.A., where a burlesque dancer and her crooked husband are forced to abandon their act when they get into trouble with the police. The dancer, named Maria, takes refuge in a church where she finds an abandoned baby lying in the manger display. Her maternal instinct kicks in and she adopts the child, which causes her to rethink her entire life and start down a new path. Maria is played here by an actress known only as Margot, who was born in Mexico and got her start dancing professionally from the time she was nine years old. In fact, she helped popularize the rumba dance craze in the 1930s by performing in nightclubs with her uncle, the famous band leader Xavier Cugat. In 1937, she gave one of her most famous big screen performances as the young woman who suddenly ages when she leaves Shangri-La in Frank Capra's Lost Horizon. Playing her villainous husband here is veteran character actor Lyle Talbot, and the cast also includes two other notable character actors, Walter Abel and Jane Darwell. From 1939, here is Miracle on Main Street. Miracle on Main Street was produced by Grand National, and two versions were actually shot simultaneously, an English version and a Spanish one, both of which starred Margot. Before the film could be released, Grand National went out of business, so the English version was released by Columbia Pictures and the Spanish-language version by 20th Century Fox. The movie marked the American debut for director Steve Sakelli, a Hungarian-born filmmaker who had worked all over the world by this point, making movies in Europe, Mexico, and India. Working with him behind the cameras here was screenwriter Boris Ingster, who had gotten his start working in Russia with the pioneering filmmaker Sergei Eisenstein. Right after finishing work on Miracle on Main Street, Ingster went on to direct Stranger on the Third Floor, which premiered in 1940 and is often considered the first real film noir. Up next, our Christmas marathon continues with a bleak but powerful film noir from 1961, written by, directed by, and starring Alan Barron. Next on TCM, Blast of Silence, then Cash on Demand, and later Cover Up. Conspire with TCM Tonight. 